Okay, I know some of year is like super busy for everyone and a lot of times it feels like we don't have enough hours in the day to make a nice dinner for our family. And so today I thought it'd be fun just to share a couple of easy dump and go recipes that you can put in the crock pot in the morning. And when you come home at nighttime, you're gonna have a warm, delicious meal to serve. And these are gonna be really good. They're not skipping on flavor. And this first one, I am so excited about it because it's very versatile and you can eat it so many ways. So let's get started on it. Okay, so I'm gonna get my crock pot on high. You can do this on low for like eight hours. But since Monkey and I will eat it at dinner time tonight and it's already almost lunchtime, I'm gonna put mine on high. And then as always, I like to just give mine a light little spray. So we're making kind of like a garlic balsamic roast. So we're gonna kind of like shred this. So Bunky's gonna add our beef broth, but y'all know we use like the better than bouillon, but use whatever you have. So I have about half a cup of that in here. To this, we're gonna add like two tablespoons of brown sugar, half a cup of balsamic vinegar. I'm just gonna eyeball it. I'll say you might as well unscrew the top on that thing. <laughs> That's probably good. Two tablespoons of Worcestershire. Let's see, that's one, two. Beautiful. Love it. Now I need about three cloves of garlic and smash them really good so it like releases all that flavor. Everyone's favorite activity, getting cloves of garlic off a of bowl. <laughs> I say that sarcastically because this is literally one of my least favorite things because the garlic paper gets It's so sticky. And then your oh yeah, then it like shreds everywhere. And then your fingers are all funky. I'm gonna get one that little. Yeah, get some good ones. Yeah, I don't mind a little extra. Get a little extra one here. So we got four there. No, you just gonna use your hand or use a knife? Oh, I'm gonna just use my hand. Oh, that's smart using paper towel. Bomb. Yeah, I'm gonna put this down here. Oh, I thought you're gonna use it on top. Oh, well I can do that too. Well, either Should way. I go for all four at once? Yeah. All right, we ready? Yep. Should I go with like a? No, you guys chop with your whole hand. Crush it. Oh, that did not work, y'all. That did not work. You gotta go one at a time. Man, this stuff will push back on your palm here. <laughs> already smell the balsamic and it smells so good uh, with feel, that like brown sugar. I feel like that's gonna pair so well with this beef. Like. For our chuck roast, so we just got one that's about a pound and a half and you wanna season this pretty liberally and you can just do salt and pepper if that's what you want. I'm gonna do a lot of cracked white pepper but then to give it just a little more flavor instead of just using salt, I got this um, if y'all follow KYD, they also do YouTube like full-time RVers. Trisha loves to cook and she has these incredible seasonings. This one is called Go To Garlic and it has the best flavor. Cause it's like black garlic, regular garlic, salt, just all kinds of good stuff in there. So I'm gonna use a little bit of that too. So we'll season this liberally and then add it to our crock pot. already gonna be good I know I'm so glad we're making this too because I feel like you know we were making uh, we made that Mississippi pot roast yeah. so many times you know and we haven't had it in a while and I've kind of just been dreaming of a chuck roast like this yeah, for, like, for some time it's a good like different spin on it honestly as soon as I read like garlic balsamic chuck sold. roast we yeah sold. and I was like I have mouthwaters already <laughs> <laughs> okay so I'm just gonna make sure that everything in here is like stirred and mixed together and that brown sugar kind of dissolved in there and then we're just gonna lay our chuck roast right on top oh yeah i know and then we just want to kind of put a little bit of that liquid on top i probably need a spoon yeah <laughs> this obviously is not working um we'll put some of the liquid on top and then pop a lid on this and just let it cook all day long Now the reason that I say this recipe is versatile is because once this cooks all day, we're gonna shred it up and there are so many ways that you can like eat this. So if you wanna put it on tacos, you could do that. If you wanted to put it on like brioche buns with like melted provolone and then like some caramelized onions, Mm, Tell me that's not crazy. That, you just, you just spoke to my heart. It would be insane. I feel like even Gorgonzola would be good on this. 
Oh. It's like that beefy mm, oh, balsamic. Yeah. Provolone, though. I like literally have the mouth waters. Or you could eat it over top of mashed potatoes. I think we're going to probably top ours like over egg noodles because we love egg noodles. But there are just so many ways to serve this. It is literally going to be like so hard to smell this all day and be waiting like on pins and needles to eat this. long to last. I have waited all day for this thing. And y'all, I checked on it like 30 minutes ago. And when I tell you that it is just like the most tender thing you have ever seen, it is wild how tender it is, okay? And the way this has made our house smell is just incredible. I have some egg noodles boiling back there, but please look at this roast. It looks insane okay i'm impressed with the uh additional color that it got on top there i know and i will say like throughout the day i basted it a little bit like i just just kept adding a little bit more like juices mm -hmm. my mouth's watering so bad i can't talk to i know my, mine was um. too <laughs> I had to be careful as I like lifted my head back up. Yeah, I kept taking like little spoonfuls of the juice and kind of just like putting it back on top to make sure it stayed like really nice and moist up there. But j just come down here and look at this, okay? Look at how just... What? Is this not crazy? I mean, that's a silicone spatula doing that. It is so tender. It is unreal. I mean, it's just like falling apart. It smells so good. So you can take this out of your crock pot and kind of like um, shred it. But since this is honestly so tender, I'm just going to do it in here with my little spatula. Oh, yeah. And don't break it up too much. You know? Yeah, I kind of like it still a little bit like in... Because we can tear it with our Larger forks. chunks. Yeah, okay. and you know what you could do too? That is perfection in there. I know. Once you take your beet out, if you were gonna put this over top of like mashed potatoes, you get like a little cornstarch slurry in here and just make that juice a little bit thicker like gravy. Monkey, you stop it. I know. You stop it right now. I know, it'd be so good. I don't see any mashed potatoes on that stove. I, we should make mashed potatoes instead of egg noodles. I, I cannot wait any longer, like. This how, is this is good. how much longer does uh, got the bowl? Probably just like three minutes. I tell you what, we do not make pot roast in the crock pot. We don't make pot roast. Period. Well, period. As much as we should. I know. Underappreciated. Cause you know we made the Mississippi pot roast at one time and it was amazing. But then I made it with a chicken and like because we always have chicken on hand, it just became like so much easier to make it that way and kind of like my go-to as y'all know. But mm. the pot roast is where it's at as well. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mmm, look at that deep gravy color. Golly. And then put all that juice on the noodles. A little juicage? Yes. Now, I did do a little sampling of that roast. Did you? Yeah. I'm, I'm uh, coming in with my first experience here. Mm -hmm. You know what I love about egg noodles? What? They're tricky, and they're so whimsical. They are. It's like you're eating pasta, but you're not. It's like you're eating macaroni noodles almost. Yeah. But they're so tender. That's what I love about them. Ooh, I just got some of that balsamic mm -hmm. and brown sugar. The way the balsamic, brown sugar, and garlic just like are made for each other. They really do. They play well together. It's so balanced because you get just like a little bit of like the tang, the sweetness. Yeah. The savory. Like it's amazing. Mm. But I feel like this meat is so good scrumptious tasty full flavor like by itself i don't eat the egg noodles like i would almost just rather have this as like my meat and then do like mashed potatoes on the side and like some roasted carrots or green beans or something Ooh, and yeah. just have this as like a full dinner i say if you're gonna make this skip the egg noodles have it like as your main course or like I said, the sandwich. Yeah, break out those canned vegetables and instant mashed potatoes and mm. you got a happy, happy table. Y'all, that meat is wildly good. Now for this next recipe, we made something similar to this a little while back in like the viral spaghetti sauce Alfredo spaghetti bake thing. Uh huh. But I feel like this version of it is going to be way better. Even though I don't know how we're gonna top that because that was so good. I know. I still think this is gonna be amazing. And this recipe, which I don't think that one did, has chicken in it. Yeah. So I love it even more. And it's all done in the crock pot and it's like the most simple thing in the whole wide world. So let's get started on it. So to our crock pot, we have the smaller one today since we don't have the big <laughs> chuck rows. It's kind of nice having two sets crock pots. Yeah. 
Well, this smaller one just seems to uh, serve us well, you know? Yeah, it's just the two of us. Okay, so you're going to take one entire jar of whatever is your favorite like spaghetti sauce. We're going with the roasted garlic. We love either the roasted garlic or like the, what's it called, four you cheese? You love the four cheese one, yeah. That's in. Now that a splatter to make a mess. <laughs> <That's good. laughs> then you're going to take your favorite jar of Alfredo sauce. Now, we always make homemade, so I feel like if I was going to use jarred Alfredo, do you see it? Rao's? Rao's? I'm going to go with Rao's. However you want to say it. I would it's probably the best one that we could possibly get. If you want to make your own, make your own, but you know, we're talking about time saving meals here, so we're using the jar. Yeah. You're not going to have time at 7.30 in the morning when you're putting all this together to make home for <laughs> homemade Alfredo. This know? is true. I guess you made it before. I should have asked you to do this because I can't open it. I can't open it. See, it's hard. Okay, I was playing around at first, y'all. Let me let me get serious mm -hmm, here. Mm -hmm. Woo. That was hard. Ray, don't play. Um. Oh. Oh my gosh. See, what I was also gonna say is good. like I actually want to try this sometime, just like with making chicken Alfredo, because yeah. I feel like it's probably really good. All right, we can do a little sample off the lid here. Mm, that's yummy. That's good. Yeah. So just add that right on in. That right there looks great. Mm -hmm. That looks so good right there, just just that. <laughs> now, to our crock pot, we have some like frozen chicken breast that we're just gonna add. So it might take a little bit longer to cook, but that's okay. We're gonna add in our chicken breast. Perfect placement, Bonk. Thank you. And then we're gonna season them up. So to this, I'm gonna add a little bit of Italian seasoning. We're gonna add some crushed red pepper flakes, as much as you want, or don't add these in if you don't want a little kick. Now, to this, you're gonna add salt, pepper, garlic, onion powder. I'm gonna use this seasoning again, just because it has like the garlic already in there, the salt, all the things. But if you wanna add them individually, by all means. I love how Santa Claus is like watching us make this. <laughs> He's making sure that we, uh, make it good for him. He you know? really is. He's gonna, he said he wants to try it later when it's done. Okay, he can have He kind of matches the uh, vibe that's going on in there too. Red he really does. So now you just want to kind of like mix all this together, get that chicken nice and coated, and then our Alfredo and pasta sauce like mm -hmm. really combined. And then that is pretty much it for this recipe. So like the most simple thing ever, once this cooks all day and that chicken is nice and tender, we'll make some pasta, add that in, some shredded mozzarella cheese, and then that is gonna be done. It's gonna be amazing. Ooh, my goodness, you, a, you just made me a happy guy with that. <laughs> Everybody loves the addition of cheese. Yeah, and I have been like craving some pasta, so I feel like this is gonna be just epic. All right, this has been cooking all day long. It looks so good. I don't know why I'm flinging my fork at you. I think because I'm so excited. It's your magic wand. <laughs> it's my magic wand. And all we're going to do, I went ahead and boiled some um, bow tie pasta. We're going to add that. You can add whatever pasta you want to. And just kind of like let it sit in there for the last like 20 minutes. We're also going to add some mozzarella cheese. Let that melt. And then this is going to be ready. What's the fanciest kind of pasta out there? What do you think? Bow tie pasta. Oh my gosh, Monkey, you are a ham. <laughs> I thought you were gonna like tell me this amazing thing, but I totally get it. Yep. It just it just shows up. It always come it always brings the party. Now, first we gotta shred our chicken a little bit. Mm. You just put a little bit of this like juice up here. It just comes right off. Mm. And then you just use that as like flavor. Mm. pasta in there and then I'm just gonna add a huge handful of Ooh. shredded mozzarella mmm hit me with some more let me hit you with some more Here that is what I'm talking about now we just achieved greatness now just give that thing a stir oh me oh my the time has come the big reveal this looks so good, I wanna squeal. Wowzers, huh? Wow. That looks so good.
this looks like pure decadence right here. It really is. You have Alfredo. You have roasted garlic tomato sauce, chicken, bow tie fancy pasta. Mozzarella, Parmesan, herbs, like there's nothing better. So good. Is it amazing? It's very good. Is it better than like the viral casserole that we made? I'm gonna say yeah. I think because it's like hanging out in that crock pot all day and it's just like those flavors are just hanging out together. This reminds me of a, <clears throat> um, like a ziti. Yeah. But not like, not just like baked Not as like heavy that. as a ziti, I feel like. Yeah, yeah. I mean, this is really good. And I like that it has chicken in it. Me too. You know? That is scrumptious. I know. I know. I, don't... I love Alfredo and spaghetti sauce together. Yeah. It's fantastic. That is delicious. Y'all have got to try that one. It is so good. And here's a few more of our favorite dump and go crock pot recipes. So we are gonna make my mom's white chicken chili and there are literally four ingredients. And my mom always says how easy this is. So it's like one of her favorite recipes because of how easy it is, but everyone raves about it. So I'm gonna get our ingredients out show you what's going in it. I think, sorry, this cord is like banging against there if it's loud. I think I'm gonna add in a little bit of like seasoning, maybe like some fajita seasoning, I'm thinking. So I'm gonna add my own little spin on it, but it's gonna be super simple. So let me get all the ingredients ready. Okay, so mom's recipe, she says about three chicken breasts. I only have two, so I'm going to add in just a little less of everything, but her recipe is three chicken breasts, one entire thing of pepper jack cheese, two cans of great northern beans, do not drain them, just add them in, and then one jar of salsa. This is kind of a big jar, so I'm only gonna do about half of this. Um, and then like I told y'all, I found this packet in our pantry of this chicken taco seasoning, so I think I'm gonna add a little bit of this as well. You don't have to, it's not part of her recipe. But she did say you could do rotisserie chicken, and then you could just put this like in a pot on the stove. You don't even have to use a crock pot, but for simplicity, we're gonna do the crock pot and because it's warm and cozy. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this in, get this shredded, dump everything, and then we're gonna pop a lid on, let it cook on high for about four hours. Okay, so I only did about half the cheese because I want to add a little bit later once it cooks for a little while and I wanna have just a little bit to sprinkle on top. And, <laughs> and mom said that she usually serves this over rice mm -hmm. or you could just do like extra chicken broth to make it like a soup uh -huh. or you could have like tortilla chips. So what do you Ooh. prefer? So many options. I know. What if we just put it in tortillas? No, silly goose, it's, a, it's like I, a chili. I think over rice is actually gonna be best. I think that'll be the perfect, that's what mom yeah. says she usually does. What if we had, do we have, um, man, I wish we had like a cilantro rice. Bunky, this is white chicken chili. But it would be good with cilantro rice. Okay, maybe. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, okay, maybe. Give it a little, I mean, you're putting salsa in there, give it a little yes, bit more I see, of, I see, a, I see. Yeah, of, yeah, the, yeah. of the juice. Yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right. And, it has pepper jack cheese. Okay, in it. Bunky, you're right. Work with me here. Work with me here. Um, okay, what? I just gotta. This piece of cheese is bugging me. Oh my. We goodness. don't need that getting all up on the top there. Okay, we'll check on this bad boy in just a couple hours. Okay, first of all, I put back on my other shirt, so I don't have my tax hanging out. But y'all, this smells. Does it not smell so good? Like incredible. And our chicken is fork tender, so I'm gonna go ahead and shred it up, put a little bit more of this pepper jack cheese in there, and then we're gonna go ahead and get our rice cooking. I am so hungry. Me too. So I cannot wait. This chicken is literally so tender. Yeah, don't shred it up too much, you know? You like a little bit of chunkiness? Yeah, I, wanna, I mean, we can, you know, you kinda like shred it up yourself in the... I gotta try it. You? Are going to love this. Okay, I'm gonna hold out. I'm gonna hold out oh, wow. so I can just, I mean, it smells good though. Mm, okay. That's 
That's really good. You know, almost like the fact, well, the fact that this has rice with it, not. I like the rice because it kind of gives it like a little bit more heartiness, you know? Yeah. Like yeah. substance, like depth to it. The flavor is really, really good because that pepper jack just gives you the tiniest bit of like spice, but not super spicy. Wow. And the beans absorb all that like salsa flavor too. Mm -hmm. This is delicious. Y'all have to make it. Tell us what you think. Okay, so we are making crock pot ranch chicken, which y'all know is like right up our alley. So to make this, all you're gonna need is some chicken breast, some baby carrots, a little can of these chopped green chilies, one can of cream of chicken soup. I got the one with herbs just to add a little bit more flavor. You'll need a packet of ranch seasoning, some chicken stock, and then also some potato you can use like the red potatoes or like the yellow gold either one is totally fine we're gonna go ahead and get our chicken in the crock pot it says to season it with salt and pepper but y'all know I love 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 this kinder's garlic and herb with sea salt and lemon on chicken and I just think with these like ingredients it's gonna be so good so I'm gonna use this instead of salt and pepper and then we're gonna kind of add our potatoes carrots and then mix together these ingredients and just pour it right over top and first things first go ahead and kind of lightly spray your crock pot For these potatoes, the way the recipe reads, it sounds like you can just kind of throw these in there whole if you want to, but I'm just going to cut ours in half. Okay, so now we're just going to mix together our cream of chicken soup, our chopped green chilies. The recipe calls for just like half a cup of chicken stock, so I'm just going to eyeball this if there's a little extra. I think that's A-OK, -okay. that looks good. And then one packet of ranch seasoning, which is the star of the show. Okay, we're gonna pour this right over the top and then pop a lid on this and you can cook it on low for like eight hours or you can cook it on high for about four hours, which is what I'm gonna do. And I'll check this here in a little bit and probably give it a good stir. Okay, let me take y'all over here. Have you already shown this over here? No, y'all. This has smelled amazing all day, okay? It looks so good. These potatoes are so fork tender. Oh my gosh, they're gonna be delicious. Um, so Bungie doesn't want it shredded, so I'm probably just gonna give him like a piece of chicken and drizzle this sauce all over the top of it. Yes. You can shred it, leave it in chunks, whatever you want. The, oh, look at that. Carrots are fork tender. See, this is what I was feared was gonna happen. <laughs> you can't really get chicken out of a crock pot without it, cut, you know, falling apart. But I'll give it to you in big, two big chunks. Or, or three big chunks. Or four. I told you this was gonna happen. Oh, that, that, oh my gosh, look at that. It's almost like gravy in there. Yeah, oh, we're gonna drizzle that all over the top. Mm. Y'all, does that not look so good? This is like a cozy, hearty, mm, something good kind of dinner. And so easy. We really haven't eaten a lot today, so Donkey and I both are so hungry. The hangry, oh. Go right through the hanger. Right through it. A little potato. That is delicious. Is it delicious? Oh yeah. Like one of your favorite crock pot recipes? It's definitely up there. I, I haven't even tried it and I feel like it's gonna be. That is good. Like when you put carrots and potatoes together mm -hmm. in this combination, I'm all about it. And then like how you were saying the sauce is almost like a gravy. Mm. Oh my gosh, so good. This is fantastic. Okay, I hope these easy dump and go crock pot recipes get y'all through this busy season. I love you so very much. I'll have all the recipes linked down below. Be sure you subscribe before you leave. If you're new around here, give this one a thumbs up and I will see you in the next one.
拜哦。